Hello, everyone. Welcome to AGI. I am Diana. I work in on the recruiting team here. I am sitting amongst some systems engineers today. I'm going to introduce Ryan, Lauren, Roger, and we are here to talk about a day in the life of an SE, also known as a systems engineer. So what I'd like to do is just have each of these folks here tell you a little bit about what their role is here at AGI, and then we'll get into some more really cool questions and answers. So, Ryan, how about you start? Tell cool. us uh, where you are. All right. Yeah, <laughs> I am based in Colorado. I'm a systems engineer, like Diana said, and uh, I've been there for just over a year now, so fairly new to AGI, but loving it. All right. Um, so my name is Lauren. I've worked as a engineer in the D.C. area, supporting a lot of our big customers out there. Um, one of the coolest projects I've gotten to work on and help engineers with was probably the New Horizons mission out to Pluto and beyond. Oh, neat. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll get into the uh, a little more depth in that in a minute. And Roger? And I'm out in the West Coast in the San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, many cool projects, uh, various NASA uh, programs and military space programs. Talk to us about um, how what you're doing might compare to maybe some of what your classmates um, graduated and what they might be doing or other colleagues um, in, you know, from other companies you might have worked with and all that. Kind of kind of give us a, a, a differential, if you will, um, what you're doing and what they might be doing or um, and how it actually is cooler, if I might say. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll start. Um, well, cooler. I mean, uh, over the years, I've probably trained a few hundred engineers on how to use our software tools. Um, and what's cool about that is they're going on to some of these exciting programs. But at the same time, I've been in the rooms where they're whiteboarding literally uh, with our tools, trying to figure out a new concept, new constellation. And on the other end, uh, when this vehicle is launching and it's it's going on orbit and, you know, antennas and solar panels get deployed and everybody's excited. And at the same time, our software was was all, all part of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so everywhere from, from the concept to design and operations. Mm-hmm. Wow, the whole full spectrum. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, I just know from a lot of my friends that I graduated <laughs> with what they're doing. Um, they've been kind of doing sometimes the same thing since they started working for that job. They've become, a, I would say, into a little bit pigeonholed into mm-hmm. parts mm-hmm. of the aerospace mm-hmm. field. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I, I personally like the variety. And mm-hmm. so that's something that I've found fulfilling at AGI is that on any given day, I might work on aircraft systems or submarines mm-hmm. or, you know, <clears throat> spacecraft that are going by Pluto. Um, you know, it really is such a broad variety of challenges and mm-hmm. domains, and that's all within our one kind of core software tool, mm-hmm. SDK. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I actually feel a little guilty sometimes. <laughs> that you're having so much fun? <laughs> I, I do because, you know, we get to go work with all these customers, and um, I've definitely kept in contact with some of the people I graduated with. And some of them are happier than others. Some of them um, love the big corporate kind of, um, you know, system, mm-hmm. um, and, and they really like to focus on that one mm-hmm. nut or mm-hmm. bolt of mm-hmm. the entire system and, mm-hmm. and work on that for years at a time, mm-hmm. right? Um, I personally find that to be a nightmare. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you are at the right company. <laughs> yeah. And maybe this is the right career for you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if, if it's my attention deficit or what. But <laughs> I really enjoy learning different things um, and switching things up mm-hmm. and not being stagnant, which mm-hmm. I've seen so much of in mm-hmm. the industry, a lot of stagnant work mm-hmm. and... I'm just so happy that I got this opportunity. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just to add to that, I mean, in terms of exciting factor, I mean, we, we do a lot of exciting things here. We work hard, play hard, but our customers do too, and they're very appreciative of when we've helped them. I, I could go on and talk about the tours that I've gotten at the different factories or in front of a launch vehicle or some kind of other mm-hmm. thing that they're, they're producing, or even finding when we've had finally satellites on a table when mm-hmm. satellites used to be, you know, filling a whole room. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's been the cool factor mm-hmm. for sure. On a related note, I've had people stand up after, you know, just even the first day of a training class and say that I just showed them how to do something that they spent the last, you know, two years doing. And now they can do it yeah. in hours, minutes, mm-hmm. things like that. And it's um, so rewarding that they're going to take that with them and spread mm-hmm. that through their um, organization to improve their processes internally. Mm-hmm. Interesting. We talk about STK and AGI, land, sea, air, and space. Um, we're so multidimensional and all that. Um, can you give us some ig- other examples of, you know, we've been talking a lot about space, or if you, you mentioned um, uh, EO, e- 
EYR. 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 Thank you. Yeah. And radio frequency and all that. Can you yeah. guys give us some more examples of how across the board we're using um, our products in SDK? Yeah, I'll, I'll jump in real quick um, because I was just thinking about one of the missions that, that we were just talking about, which mm-hmm. SDK was used for. Um, it's used on you know thousands of missions, but one that's interesting is that um, – uh, there's a there's a scientific mission called Kepler, and that's basically uh, out there in the solar system trying to collect data on um, potential Earth-like planets that are in habitable zones of other solar systems. And to do that, it has to be able to model a trajectory um, that's interplanetary, and we have software that can do that, and everything basically stems from there. And then, like I talked about earlier, um, you have the ability to model communication links between Maybe it's an aircraft to a ground station or mm-hmm. satellite to a, a region. Mm-hmm. And so you go from that terrestrial level um, all the way into an interplanetary regime, and there's everything in between. So you're exposed to all of that, and you you know, you know can focus on any one domain and become a subject matter expert in that if you so choose, or you can, can consult with our internal SMEs on it. Mm-hmm. You know, the sky's the limit is in terms of uh, where you want to bring your curiosity. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I've helped people with underwater modeling of submarines and how that's going to work. I've done border patrol analysis scenarios, so very much um, you know on the ground and mountainous terrain, things like that. Um, you know, maybe low aircraft, things mm-hmm. like of that mm-hmm. nature, and then yeah, interplanetary missions and everything in between. Wow! Yeah. Wow! So so far reaching. Yes, yeah. definitely reaching. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. 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 Um, any other comments? Anything else uh, our audience should know about the role here as a as a systems engineer? We have a lot of fun. I mean, besides <laughs> yeah. just the work we do, we have a yeah. lot of cool events that we get to get together. We just had an awesome holiday party um, where we were all yeah. um, down at a museum in Philadelphia. Um, we get to travel for. Um, trade shows, trade shows yeah. and conferences yeah. in the industry, which keeps you just connected in the industry, and mm-hmm. you see cool places. Um, we have silly contests and fun things like that mm-hmm. at um, AGI all the time, and we try to keep the people in the field mm-hmm. involved in that um, through um, video, video conferences video. and things like that. Yeah, speaking of mission modeling and, and whatnot, um, Lauren is constantly in the middle of a of a war with Nerf guns. I am, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, if I need to model the Nerf gun trajectories in SDK and figure out where to move my desk. Our, our, our <laughs> SE warriors those. here. S- yeah, our yeah. SE warriors. Yeah, we've got the Nerf guns. <laughs> so is it fair to say that if you are, from a systems engineer standpoint, if you are looking for an opportunity to work with multi-customers, not necessarily wanting to sit behind a desk all the time, you want to be out there customer-facing, solving problems, traveling, all that fun stuff, is, is AGI the place? Is, yeah. Is, yeah. 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 And that's that's place. Yep. All right. all right. Well, thanks so much for being here today. Appreciate all of your input. Thank you. That's a wrap.